Welcome back. Reds captain Barry Larkin remains calm and cool, even though the Reds won't meet his demand for a three-year contract worth $27.9 million. So it sounds like he's ready to be an ex-Red. Well, of course, I'm disheartened by it, and of course, I'm not happy about the prospects of leaving Cincinnati because I've been there my entire career. But, um, you know, it's a business decision on both ends, and, uh, you know, I played, I played for less in Cincinnati. And uh, this time, I'm just willing to play for what the free market value will offer, and that's, that's what I'm looking for. So what is Barry Larkin really worth? Well, tonight, the captain upped his value, breaking a scoreless tie, bangs a solo homers. The Reds go on to blank the Astros for zip. Let's go to Enron Field. Barry Larkin breaks up the pitcher's duel in the sixth, bashes his 10th home of the season over the left field wall. Reds lead it one to nothing. Now still in the sixth, base is loaded for Demetri Young, who singles the right field. Reds go on top two to nothing. Then Chris Holt walks Juan Castro with the bases loaded. Castro is subbing for Pokey, who is nursing a tender groin. It's three zip red. Barry strikes again in the seven. Sends a long fly to the ball back and right. Larkin winds up on third base and then scores on junior sacrifice fly. Reds four to nothing. And Pete Harnish pitching his second straight complete game. Four hits, two walks, four strikeouts. Reds win it four to nothing. Meantime, the first place Cardinals are losing one to nothing to Arizona in the fourth. Hey, it's a short trip from Dayton to Cincinnati, but a major leap for reliever Mark Wallers, who's back in the majors. The Reds purchased Wallers' contract from AAA Louisville today, and Wallers was on the Reds' bench tonight. More than a year since Wallers' last pitch in a big league game for the Atlanta Braves. Reds reliever Scott Sullivan and Rockies outfielder Brian Hunter have both been suspended three games apiece for starting last Saturday's brawl in Colorado. Sullivan has appealed he will meet with Frank Robinson in New York. Events with the stories behind the scores. And welcome back to the new Paul Brown Stadium. If you're just tuning in, we are privileged to bring you the first live shots from the stadium. Let's take a look around as Mike, our photographer, is going to widen down here and show you how beautiful it looks here on the stadium. This will com be complete in 30 days. The Bengals will be here. They will play ball August 19th against the Chicago Bears. We will give you some more shots in just a moment, but first, let's talk a little baseball because Reds general manager Jim Bowden went to Houston tonight. He was meeting with Barry Larkin in hopes of keeping the captain here and resolving the stalemate. However, nothing has changed. Still no contract. No trade talks for Barry, and Larkin says that he will still go the free agent route at the end of the season if nothing is worked out. So stay tuned to that. Tonight, the Reds try to sweep the Astros, looking for their third straight win. Let's go to Enron Field as we pick it up with the Astros getting to Scott Williamson early. Billy Spires back up the box, off Castro's glove. A run scores. Astros up one to nothing. Williamson is pulled after three innings. Oh, he's upset. Down two to nothing. Reliever Ron Vallone enters. Gives up a bases loaded double to Mitch Molusky to the left center field gap. Three runs come home. It's five zip. Eddie Taubins, he finally scores for the Reds. Brings home Dimitri Young. That makes it five to one. Richard Hidalgo, home run off Scott Winchester. Six to one now. Astros in the fifth. Top of the seventh. Barry Larkin. Yeah, the captain's still doing it. Home run last night. Ground rule double tonight. Bounces over the wall. Castro scores, Astros 6-2. Good news, Mark Wallers enters the seventh. Eight pitches, seven strikes in that inning. He goes two innings, two strikeouts, no hits, but the Astros win it 6-2. Meantime.